in this video we're going to show you how to make your pillow top to fit your pillow form but more in a modern way did you know that fashion changes even how you fit your pillows this is an older fashion where it when it's finished the edges are straighter they often put um, something in the seam and it's very fitted now the modern kind this is from Ikea is looser and the fabric is actually cut square so your um, whole pillow it kind of dips in in the side that's the fashion isn't that interesting the whole thing is looser and um, looks a little more comfy they often don't put a lot of trim in the seams with a top stitch like that and so we're going to show you how to fit it how to make it and put a zipper in it so you can change out your fabric. Ikea is a wonderful place to get your pillow forms. They're only $2.99 for a 20 inch form. It is, actually comes out to be more like a 19 inch, but it says 20 inch and they have a lot of beautiful fabrics, but not, not always the ones you want. So this will be great. This will teach you how to fit an Ikea 20 inch form, form, form or any other form that you wish to buy. The, that form is actually softer as well than some of these others are. Now when you're putting your seam together for your zipper, I like to zigzag or serge them separately before I put it together. This is a seam that will be unzipped and zipped over the years. You don't want all the threads to be caught in your zipper. Now we added a half inch instead of a quarter of an um, an inch like we did for our sides for our quarter of an inch seam but this is a half inch seam and the reason I do that is did you know that your zippers are exactly one inch so if I've got a half inch half inch then my seam is exactly an inch now when I put it in I put two inches that are stitched uh, closer together a closer stitch length then I basted and I ended with two inches of a closer stitch length because we're going to put our zipper starting those two inches in. Now the beauty of having it exactly one inch is if I put that zipper so the sides are aligned and with my zipper foot I'm going to choose exactly where to stitch so it's the same all the way down on both sides then I'm going to have just a perfect little zipper on the other side. I don't have to try to get the zipper in the middle of the seam because I know if my sides are aligned, the zipper is in the middle of the seam. So I'm going to go ahead and sew down. Now you only need like a 16 inch zipper, but this of course was a zipper I already had and it's longer. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it to the 16 inches, cut it off, cut the zipper off, and I'm going to stitch zigzag back and forth to make my own zipper stop. They always have a zipper stop and I'll make my own. And then as soon as that is in I can open up the basting and we'll show you the rest. Okay, as long as I kept the same distance on my zipper foot which was just in from this side I sewed about three-fourths of the width I aligned with the actual zipper like right there. Once the zipper's in I just fold the front and the back together right sides and sew the three sides and because we held our zipper back it's pretty easy just to sew right up to the corner. We've got a nice corner the zipper's not going to be bulky and make the corner look funny. Now yeah, turning it right side out and pressing it, I can top stitch quarter of an inch in. That always looks kind of neat and sharp. And this turns out great. It's a little softer than these older pillows. This is the modern look that looks so nice. And I just think these are fun. And I hope you look forward to more patterns that we'll put out for quick, fun, redecorating for the seasons and hope this has helped you.